I think the philosophy that comes from Dan and Chrissy on, and everybody that works here at Silva, when the guests come here to visit the park, our philosophy is that we want to leave all their problems behind and they have a great day here at Silverwood. We, we want to make their day enjoyable here. We want to have a, when they walk in, they want to see green lawns, uh, beautiful flowers, cast members that greet them friendly, treat them well, and uh, they just have a great time so that when they leave here, they're going to go tell other people what a great time they had at Silverwood. We try to incorporate that through the grounds department as more of a visual. When they walk in, if they see a park that the grounds look, you know, dead grass, flowers look wilted, are they really going to want to spend their money here and, and enjoy the day? But when they come in here and see that, uh, I think it takes a lot of pressure off them to just relax and have a great day. I studied art in college and after I graduated, every job I've ever had has ended up being making something, someone, somewhere beautiful and all the jobs have culminated and the experiences have come into this job and I use everything and it's the best job I've ever had and I love it. It's hard to visualise now but there'll be plants and a little garden at this side of the ride and one at the other side and this will be all beautiful lawns through here. It's hard to imagine that any of this can happen in a few weeks. <laughs> but it does. It takes a lot of people to get the job done. Um, there's the carpenters, then the painters, and um, everyone pulls together and there's usually a time deadline, but it all gets done in time. And with the grounds crew, it's a whole different story. That could be a new ride that goes in and we landscape that, or um, it could be a new path or a diversion or new entrance. And Mark does all the ordering for the annuals and um, I used to do that job and he's got so good at it, if I ever had to go back and do that, I would be really nervous at taking it on. He's taken it to such a good level now. So, I mean, during the winter, I plan all the, the plants out. I work with Chrissy Wortman really close and we figure out what combinations we're gonna put together, certain areas. She gives me a, a lot of leeway on certain things, uh, lets me experiment and see what works. Two years ago we got a greenhouse, it's a 70 by 30, which would be the uh, fourth one in our collection that we have. Uh, it's the largest one by far. This year we ordered over 12,000 annual plants came in, whether that's a combination of baskets uh, or other things to go in containers or plant in beds. And also then we order the hanging baskets and there's about 140 hanging baskets that go out through the park whether it's uh, Silverwood Theme Park or Boulder Beach. During the season, uh, which is usually starts the first weekend of May, uh, we start at 5 o'clock in the morning and run till 1.30. Um, so we have, on average, uh, 20 to 24 people a day doing different tasks throughout the park, whether we're mowing, pruning, uh, planting flowers, and basic things like that. I guess just the beauty of it, you know? You, when we first get the flowers in, and then to see how beautiful they become, you know, and, mm -hmm. and that we did them, mm -hmm. and keep them alive, yeah. Yeah, this is like my therapy. We added a new front gate area and um, revamped the tunnel entrance and up the tunnel, the landscape leading up to it. Um, it's the icing on the cake and it's um, really pretty, something to be proud of. Once that was all finished, we had our first garden tour this year, which was really exciting. and. Um, it was interesting, we learned from that that people actually want to come and just look at gardens, which, which is really exciting. We've got a lot of work ahead of us each year. You know, where, where it's going to go, I, I hope it keeps going up. And I, I know it will go up because we've got a great team in place and uh, we have a lot of people that have passion and pride in what they do. 
And that's the key to anything. If you don't have passion for what you do, you're just going to a job. I don't feel like I'm going to a job here. I, I love coming to work every day. There's always something exciting to come. There's always a new project around the corner. And um, I'm really excited for the next few years, especially. In fact, now I tell people, welcome to beautiful Silverwood.